Alright guys, welcome back to yet another video. I wanted to do a live commentary for this video, but most of the people that I watch have already covered most of the cool weapons that belong in these two slots. So the only thing I have left is this new monarchy shotgun, and you can't really do a live comm when you get ammo for a gun like twice a game. It's a cool shotgun though, it's a new monarchy one, it is slug with full auto, and I believe it can get to max range, um, and a lot of people have been talking about it on Twitter, so if you didn't know about it already, um, I wanted to show it to you in this video because I hadn't seen too many videos done on it so far. I feel like for the most part, there's not too much of a reason to make videos on power weapons, so while I was at school, everyone beat me to all the other stuff, so here we are with the Slim Pickens Remains, and it is called the Unification 7, by the way. Your boy did his research. Knowledge. And um, if we take a very quick look here at the perks the first perk is full auto very self-explanatory hold down the trigger weapon fires at full auto you also have a choice between high caliber rounds and assault mag assault mag will give you a little bit more stability and it'll increase the rate of fire however you don't really need high caliber rounds for staggering but it will tack on a tiny bit of range um, which is something that is useful with a weapon that is a slug meaning you're, you're, you know you're trying to kill people from as far away as possible um, so any bit of range helps moving on to the barrels the first one is rifled barrel it'll increase the range and greatly decrease the handling speed this is what I was using for most of the game play I already played for an hour and a half or whatever with it this is me recording afterwards um, and what I noticed is that you know you can snipe people but the gu just look at the handling decrease you get um, if you want to use it you can you will get a, a, a little bit of range but the weapon feels a lot slower um, the second perk or the second barrel option is arrowhead break it will uh, make the recoil a lot easier to control and it increases handling speed um, it's it's basically like an inferior version of the fluted barrel which is what I'm running right now which greatly increases handling speed and slightly increases stability as you can see beautiful weapon so now let's talk about how it does in PvP very quickly moving on to the full auto portion of the shotgun which I wanted to get out of the way very quickly this is what it looks like when you hold down the trigger yes it is cool it's gonna increase the rate of fire but for the most part with a slug shotgun which is mostly about precision you don't really want to use full auto in PvP very quickly summarizing my thoughts on the shotgun is that it is the best slug shotgun I have used but it's not the best shotgun I've used because I feel like if you're gonna use a weapon choose a power weapon that's based off of being aggressive and not really being too precise then why would you want to run something that is relying on precision so it's, it's cool it's a lot of fun to use but it's not quite as effective as you would think it is however regarding the need for precision that's only for a one-shot kill if you're concerned about not being able to hit people with body shots with this thing it's still you know the exact same difficulty as landing a body shot with a normal shotgun you're not shooting tiny slugs with this thing you are literally hucking out frisbee so like if you get within the general vicinity of someone you're going to get damage on them and you can follow up with a melee for the kill another quick point that I wanted to add is that a lot of slug shotguns struggle in 2v1s if someone challenges you they have two people great you headshot the first guy and you kill him but they, they take so long to shoot that by the time the second guy pushes in you're panicked you can't shoot your trigger is jammed or whatever and then you either spam your shot and miss it you hit a body shot and basically either way you die but it's really nice with this weapon because the rate of fire is so high from the full auto perk if you didn't know that you don't necessarily have to be holding down the trigger to get a benefit from full auto it's just going to across the board allow you to shoot faster so when people are challenging in 2v1s this is the first time with a slug shotgun where I did not feel like I was at a strong disadvantage my final observation on this weapon is that there's a lot of cool barrel options you can go with so you can go for that heavier feel where you have a ton of range and you're gonna snipe people so if you want to play corners kind of ADS um, then that's that's the perk you'd want to use as a rifled barrel but at the same exact time you can use different alternatives to make the weapon feel a lot snappier. You're not going to have as much range, but you can kind of pick and choose what type of play style you want to have with it. Do you want it to be quicker but with less range, or do you want it to be that big, tanky, heavy feeling weapon that's going to snipe people? Also, very quick shout out to Sheik from the Destiny Fun Police for giving me some footage for part of this video. If you're wondering which clips are his, it's literally all the good ones. As far as what I would rate it out of 10, sometimes you could say that the answer was right in front of you the whole time.